All right, so in this video, we'll go over more types of classes, all right? And uh, particularly, we're going to go over a class of a coin. And this coin has either one of two states, either it's heads up or tails up. And we want to flip this coin and get uh, it to display in the, uh, in the, in the uh, console area. Uh, whether it shows its heads or tails. So we'll go ahead and look at this, this, uh, this uh, class. So coin, we'll make a new Python file named coin. This will be our class file, right? So first thing we want to do is import uh, a library named random. Now random allows you to experiment with uh, different types of uh, different types of uh, uh, functions that will allow you to get random, randomly generated events. So in this case, we're going to use a function named uh, random integer, all right? So we'll create the class coin. And then we want to initialize uh, the class by doing initial, uh, doing the initialization self um, header. And here we want to predefine the attribute side is up. And we'll set, we preset the coin to be automatically heads up. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, create a, another function that is will define as toss when we toss this this coin right and in that we'll type if uh, random and this is where we call this random library and you have all these all these uh, functions that we can pull from that library if random random integer, and the arguments we can pass in here is either it's going to be a zero or a one, All right? And we want to set if it is zero, then we'll set that equal to heads. So to do that, we'll write if self dot side up is e it will be equal to heads. So here we're saying that if we run this random function and it's equal to zero, then the self that side up attribute is equal to heads, which already preset the heads. Since we know that, then we can say else it's only one of two options, self dot side up will be equal to tails. So what we're saying here is if we call this uh, toss function, it'll run this random integer function and will generate either one or two outcomes. It would be uh, zero or one, and we preset zero to be heads. But if it's not zero, then it automatically be tails, all right? And now we're done here, we'll make another function. And this function will get the side up method and return, it will return the value referenced by side up. All right. Uh, so basically this will return wh whatever, whatever side up is equal to, right? So side up, we'll call this function get side up. And here we'll say return self dot side is up. And so that's it for our, our class. So we'll create another, uh, another file, another Python file. And we will say, we'll call it coin argument.
and now in this in this file we're, we're basically going to call the 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 coin class right so we're going to import coin and we're going to import all the functions attributes from coin into coin argument and we'll set up a main function and we'll say my we'll set up a, a, a variable my coin is equal to coin dot coin calling uh, the coin function inside of the coin class and then from here we'll say print my coin dot get side up and so what we're saying is here is we want to grab the side up get side up function out of coin and it'll print out what it'll do here is print out let's go back to this class print out get side up and what side up is pulling from is whatever the value of the attribute side up is it will be either heads or tails right and if you think about it this will be preset to heads since up here we preset it to heads we initialize the attribute as heads right but let's say we want to uh, flip that coin so we'll say pass the argument flip my coin and we'll make a make a, a function uh, down here in the program area of, of flip and we'll say print my my coin dot get side up And this will print what the what the value is from this flip function we're about to make. All right. So now that we're done with the main function, we'll go ahead down here and set up uh, the function flip. All right. And we'll the function will be passed the coin object. And so in this case, <coughs> up here. Uh, flip will be passed my coin which is the coin which is what is pulled from the coin class up here right so coin objects that's the that's the incoming argument and we want to toss that toss uh, the coin and what we're doing here is pulling from the coin object which is actually the coin class and invoking the function inside of the coin class which is right here is just which is the toss function all right and that will either produce a heads or tails um result so we're done with the with with the with the two functions we need and we'll just call the the main function right and we'll see what the result is. So we'll go ahead and run uh, the coin argument. So here in the console area, it produces heads. Okay, let's run it again. It produces heads again. Again. Heads again. Heads again. Wow. We're getting a lot of heads. And finally, it produces tails after a lot of tries. But it's only one of two options. But if you notice, again, it prints. Uh, it, we're printing heads first, always, because it's go, it's the coin function, is, or sorry, the coin class is preset to have the attribute uh, heads as as what the attribute is equal to and then only after we invoke the function flip in the coin class do we actually get a different result so if i 
uh, sort of comment this out, and we'll, we'll go into later what, is, what exactly I just did. Basically, if you use a hashtag but besides anything, it becomes a comment and no longer inside of of uh, no longer a valid piece of code to run. It's just more more like something you you uh, a comment to write. Say you know this prints prints the coin coin class but also you can take the use it to um debug or test out code so what i did is pull this out and it's going to no longer print out heads as the initial function so here again it's going to continue flipping the coin until you get tails tails heads heads tails all right so i think you guys get the point anyway so this is a good example of passing arguments <coughs> through your classes through functions um and uh hopefully you you have a little better idea of of the power of the different libraries in or built into uh python like import random but also you can make your own library, make your own class by uh, by, by the object-oriented um, uh, nature of Python.